Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Golden Jailene. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review and demo of this new BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette. This is an $18 eyeshadow palette and it comes with 20 beautiful colors. This is such a beautiful palette. This eyeshadow look that's on my eyes was inspired by this packaging. I absolutely adore this packaging. So yes, this palette is $18, but I got it for a lot cheaper. I got it for $12.50. I actually ordered it along with the Carly Bible Deluxe eyeshadow palette. And I actually love that one too. That one's a very good neutral palette. I love the colors in there. But I love this a lot more because while I do love like golds, coppers and stuff, I really love wearing color. That's how I feel about the Sephora Pro palette. Even though that palette is so expensive, I do quite enjoy it a lot. That's exactly how I feel about the Urban Decay and Christy Leanne palette. I just love color. I love playing with color. Like I said, I did get it for $12.50. I'm pretty sure it's still on sale on their website. But even if it's not on sale, $18 for 20 colors, that's still a very amazing price. This palette also came out with some brushes. I didn't get the brushes just because I have way too many brushes. But um, maybe at some point I will get the brushes. But for now, I'll only have the palette. And I actually really like this packaging. It's very light. The weight is very light. It's not like a super heavy palette like the Too Faced Chocolate Gold palette. This palette is pretty heavy. I'm not the biggest fan of magnetic closure palettes, but it doesn't really bother me. I at least appreciate that it comes with this sleeve, so if I do want to travel with it, I can just put the sleeve on and it's not going to open up. Also, I love how there's a mirror in this palette, and it's actually a pretty good mirror. A lot of palettes do not have mirrors, and it makes me very upset, but I love the packaging on the inside as well. I also love how the names are inside the palette. So while there are a bunch of colors in here, you could make a full look with this. There's this brown color right here you could use as a transition, and if you use this orange with the light hand and mix it with the brown, you could also make another nice transition shade. So I definitely think it's a very good palette to make a full look out of. And you can even do like a neutral look. There's this gold, these browns right here. Yeah, you can make beautiful, colorful looks and a neutral look. I've been testing out this palette for like the past two weeks or so, and I have to say I do love the quality. The shimmers are amazing. I actually um, have been using the shimmers without wetting the brush. I hate wetting brushes. I only do it if I absolutely want to pack a punch on my eye. And I did wet my brush today to use the gold on my lid, but I have used this gold right here without wetting the brush. And I've used some of the other colors without wetting the brush. Like the color right here, Wicked. Mm, these colors are just... Look at that. I do think this palette is definitely worth buying. You cannot beat the price, cannot beat the quality. The quality is amazing. Even if you're not the biggest fan of color and you like to play with color every now and then, I even think you should get this palette. I have to say that this is definitely my favorite colorful palette and I thought the Sephora Pro palette was my favorite colorful palette. This one is definitely it, especially because you cannot beat that price. If I ever hit pan on every single shadow, I can just go out and buy it again and I wouldn't feel guilty about it because it's $18. But without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling and we're just going to get right into the demo where I show you how to create this look. First thing I'm going to do is take my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in Brightener. And wow, I took way too much. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to put some on my eyelid and blend it out. Yeah, I definitely took way too much. So this look is actually inspired by the like cover or the packaging of this palette. I really like this sunset look and that's what this eye was inspired by. So I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette and the first color I'm going to take is this one right here called Electric and this color is going to go all over the crease. Next shade we're taking is this right here called Dippy, this bright pink. And this is actually going to go on like the outer half of the crease. I'm gonna take a little bit more of Electric and just blend this out. Next color I'm taking is this purple right here called Swag. And I'm just gonna use this right 
<laughs> I don't even know how to explain where this is going. I'm using this purple to blend out the pink. And that's actually looking pretty patchy, but don't worry, in the end it all comes together. You really gotta layer these colors or else they just don't look right. So yeah, that looks pretty bad. We're gonna take electric again and just blend it all out. I'm gonna take some of Dippy again and just put it right in the center like that. That actually looks perfect. All right, and next we're going to take Euphoria, and which is this gold right here. And I'm actually going to take it on this brush, this very small brush, and I'm gonna wet that with some Coconut Fix Plus. I'm running out of this mini version, but I have the full sizes. So I'm just gonna spray that and I'm going to apply it to my lid, or actually to half of my lid. Next, I'm going to take the color Hippie, which is this orange color right here. I'm gonna take that on the outer corner, or on um, the outer half of my lid, I mean. Just really tap that in. And I just realized I have ice cream that I haven't put in the freezer, perfect. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna tap this in, make sure it blends in with the pink. I really like that. Okay, now we're gonna take a little bit more of swag and we're gonna make sure that this purple is even on the top. Okay, looking good. Now we're gonna take Spirit right here. It's kind of like a light lilac color and I'm gonna use that as my brow bone highlight. For my inner corner highlight, I'm taking Magical, which is like a lighter gold shade in this palette. Alright, and then next I'm going to apply some liquid eyeliner. I'm going to take some pencil liner and I'm gonna tight line and apply some eyeliner to my waterline. So the first color I'm going to apply to my lower lash line is the orange, which is Hippie. Same orange I used on my lid. Next color I use is the purple, which is Swag. Alright, and now I'm just going to apply a little bit more of that color I put in the inner corner. There we go, and last step is to just put on mascara, and as always, I'm going to do that off camera. So this is what the finished eye look looks like. Alright guys, so that was the tutorial, and I'm actually really excited to keep using this palette. I've been creating a bunch of wild looks. I love creating colorful looks. The next look I want to do, I don't know if I'll post it, but maybe I will. I want to make a look using these three shades right here. This green, this aqua, and this uh, like cobalt color. The one negative thing I have to say is that this palette and the Carly Bible one, I ordered them together. It took so long to ship. It took like like two weeks for it to ship. So that was a little annoying. But other than that, the product itself, I have nothing negative to say about. So yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.